Hi, I'm Henry Goodman. I'm playing Arturo Ui. He is feeling aggrieved because he's not as big and powerful as he would like to be in Chicago as a gangster. And he wants to reach the top. And the best way is to use other people's corruption. He discovers the mayor's up to no good. So he decides to use that to his own ends. He discovers theater and opera and actors have sway in the society, so I'll have a bit of that. I'll learn to act and talk the way they do. The whole point of the play was to mirror the way that Arturo reaches the top with what Hitler did in Germany and how fascism and Nazism and extreme right-wing behavior thrive in times of corruption and chaos. My name is Keith Baxter and I'm playing the actor who is a decrepit, out-of-work, alcoholic, old wreck of an actor who's giving Shakespeare recitals in a seedy bar in downtown Chicago. There is uh, some evidence that at the beginning of his career, when Hitler was changing from being an artist and realized he couldn't be an artist to being a political character, that he found an old actor to teach him how to move, how to gesture, and how to speak. And Brecht pinched that idea, which may be true, and has put that in the play. My character is a sort of unacceptable face of gangsterism. He wants to stay with the rackets and with the and and and, and with the protection stuff and the racketeering. Um, he doesn't like the involvement with the, with the small-time politicians, the businessmen. He doesn't. He thinks that's he thinks that's overextending themselves. Hitler was evidently a very very engaging person. You know, we think of him as that sort of maniac with the funny moustache and the and the hair, but particularly to women. He empty engaged them with these blue violet eyes as if they were the only person in the world. He was a very, very engaging man. For two thirds of the play, it, there's a lot of laughter. It's very funny, um, even if it's funny in a, in a you know, black humor way. Brecht was an emigre during the war. He took refuge in Hollywood. While he was in America, obviously, he saw a lot of American movies. And at that time, gangster movies were very popular, and he saw Public Enemy, and he saw Scarface, and he thought, how can I write about uh, the rise of fascism? That's how to do it. He wanted to find a way of making it um, interesting and accessible. The last speech of the play, which Henry does brilliantly, is, is one of the most chilling in, 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 in all of the, the dramatic canon. And he talks about the horror at the heart of farce and you feel it very, very keenly. When satire is on the, on the nose, I, I don't think there's anything, or well, there's very little that's more powerful in the theatre. We have, you know, a, a, an extraordinary actor playing the lead, mm. and so we all sort of follow him, really, because he's, uh, he's an amazing man. So the chemistry amongst the company uh, and having this team again is, it's gold dust. Mm.